Welcome back, everyone. Toy Shiz here, and I am back yet again to give you guys another news update. The Hasbro Transformers team took to their YouTube channel this morning. It was these two gents, Evan from Product Design and Ben from Marketing, went on and told us all about the brand new HasLab Transformers project that will feature Transformers Victory. So that's pretty cool. I think a lot of people figured out what it was early off with the teasers and such. So you're going to be getting a giant Victory Saber Transformers action figure. And that's pretty cool. If you're not familiar with Transformers Victory, I myself knowing very little about the project, but in kind of the short way, it's a continuation of the original G1 but done with Japanese influence and everything else. So it goes like real crazy <laughs> as far as what I know and what I've read. But there is a huge fan base for this. And there's a lot of, let's say, regular Joes, regular Transformer peeps that have never had this Japanese Victory Saber figure before, especially since they're making the Victory Leo. So that's even better, right, for a lot of different people and to be honest, the price ain't so shabby either. But you do get a ton of components to this. Again, if you're not familiar, it's kind of, you can make a bunch of different kinds of robots and such. You have the Brain Master. He's like a little tiny robot that goes in there. You got, <laughs> you got Autobot Saber, and then you, you know, build him into a jet, and then he'll get bigger, and you got Autobot Star Saber, and then you got Victory Leo, who is basically a, a lion with a jet pack, and that all sort of combines, right? And it combines in like a giant ship, which once this thing is colored, that's going to be very cool, and then you combine it to create the Supreme Commander of the Autobots, good old Victory Saber. He is the leader of the Galactic Defense Force. I'm learning all about this. <laughs> Really now, you know what I mean? So, starting today, August 27th, and going till October 10th, so that's 10-10-2021, on Hasbro Pulse, you can grab this guy. Now, there's already a bunch of backers. He's 180 bucks, 179.99. but you know what's up. Plus, applicable state sales tax. So, not too shabby. A lot better than I was... Uh, well, let me put it to you this way. I bought a $400 Galactus, so you guys uh, you guys made out like bandits. <laughs> Basically, you're going to need 11,000 separate backers to fully fund the project. So that's not too shabby. 11,000 at 180, yeah, that should fund no problem. There are three tiers, which they already showed off, kind of, sort of. They actually showed off tier one, which is actually very cool. So right off the bat... Once it hits 11,000, then you got to get up to 14,000 backers, and that will unlock the Victory Saber V-Lock Cannon and some Blast Effect pieces. And they showed it off in the video, which was nice. You get to kind of see it's a huge blaster gun, so that's cool. You can attach it every which way, hold it as a gun. Then you have the Blast Effect pieces. These are at the 5 millimeter. they were talking about. It's like standard Blast Effect piece porthole, but... You can see that you can put it on the Victory Leo. You can pretty much put it everywhere that you only know, has a cannon or a gun on this giant robot that's like basically just guns put together. So that's cool. And then at 17,000, there will be another tier two unlock, which again, they're not showing that just yet. So right around the time, if it gets to that point for 14,000, I'm sure they'll show it. And then all the way to 20,000 is a tier three unlock. So not too shabby, right? 20,180. I think that this will fund pretty much no problem. I I have high hopes for it. Galactus, I knew Galactus would fund. I wasn't too sure about all the stretch goals, being that how it was kind of going, but lo and behold, once it gets towards the end of the project, people start going, "Oh my god, I got to get this." So, everybody starts throwing in yada yada. So, that's really all they had to show off today, which I think is a pretty good show, right? Nice big giant robot 180 bucks, you can let me know. Now, this is not for me. This is not something I will be getting. I appreciate that they made it. It's very cool. But for me, I'm sticking with Galactus. I can't go crazy with all the Haslabs. These are giant, giant figures to put around. I got enough figures around this joint. But for 180 bucks, tell me what you think. Is that cool? Does that work for you? I guess looking at it, shipping's factored in. Not too shabby at all. And then plus, you know, if you get to that point, you get all the other unlocks and such 
Just an FYI, for those of you international, meaning outside US, Canada, Mexico, Europe, and that kind of sense, Hasbro will be working with other third-party retailers to get this going for you starting today. It might take a little bit, like up to a week, to get going, but just keep an eye to their socials and they'll update it when those are available. But for us in the US, Canada, and the UK, you can go and get this bad boy now if you want it on Hasbro Pulse. And like I said, it's already started funding. But I am curious to know what you guys think about this. Is this what you wanted from a HasLab? Is this something that was going to go for your Transformers collection? Is it kind of like, nah, it's not for me. I'm a huge Transformers fan, but it's not for me. And that's okay too. By the way, if 180 bucks is not going to float your boat, don't sweat it. There's lots more Transformers that are becoming every day, every week, every month, every year. It does not stop. So... If you can afford it, awesome. If you can't afford it, don't sweat it. Don't worry about it. And those of you who can't, don't make others feel bad about it and vice versa. If you can't afford it, cool. Good job. Anyways, I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food. But most importantly, remember, go and watch Transformers Victory. I've seen a couple of the episodes long time ago but we'll just say there's a character named death saurus or whatever it's so japanese you know what i mean like you used to optimus prime megatron things like that it's wackadoo in terms of what we're used to with transformers and that's not a bad thing and when you do let me know what you found i'll talk to you guys soon adios